This lighting is funky. Hello everyone and welcome back for another Tearless Friday video. It's Elizabeth. I just want everyone to know that I painted my nails. Look at how pretty they are. If you didn't see my last Tearless video, I ranked all of the months of the year. Something that's kind of related to the months are astrological signs. So we're going to be ranking those today. I want to say going into this that I am not an astrologer, but I do know a few things about astrology. I believe that astrological signs and like the sun and the stars and the moon and everything, the placement has something to do or has an effect on people's personality traits. I don't think that like only Sagittarius's can be travelers. Only these people can be XYZ. I think it can have an effect on a person. You know, take it all with a grain of salt. That's what we're gonna be ranking today. I'm going to roll up my sleeves as though I'm about to get to work. We have a classic tier list, a classic S A B C D F. I'm gonna be ranking these off of the people that I know that are these signs and also the traits that I know of these signs. It's gonna be my personal experience with these signs and also like what I know generally. I will say as a Sagittarius, because I am in the month of December, now do I think about it as like, I'm not ranking myself as the best because if I'm being honest, Sagittarius's can be a little stubborn. We can be a little, a little much. We can be a little independent and just like, you know, go off and do our own thing sometimes, but we are partiers, we are a good time, we are extroverted, we are travelers, we are adventurers. I think there are more pros than cons in Sagittarius's. There's a lot of great things about them. I'll rank them an A just so I'm not ranking myself an S. And I will go ahead and rank one of my least favorite signs and put Scorpio an F. There are a couple people in this world that are Scorpios that are dear friends of mine, but I'm about to say excludes you. There's a lot of mystery with Scorpios. They can be pretty cynical and pessimistic. I just feel like Scorpios are such like, Oh, you don't understand me or like you don't understand like who I am and like but I'm not gonna tell you anything about me What's the word? What, what's what's the word when you're you're saying something, but you don't do it It's called hype hip hypocritical. They're being hypocritical. They're so shut off. They're so closed and they like don't care They like have a lot of emotions, but they don't want anyone to know they have a lot of emotions And so they get F. I will put Virgos in S. I will absolutely rank them higher than Sagittarius's because I think Virgos are one of the best signs. Like most of my best friends are Virgos. The greatest people in my life are Virgos. They're so organized. They like have a plan. They know what they want. And I really appreciate that in them. They're like set in their ways. And if it doesn't go that way, it like creates chaos in them. I think it's a good mix of like a Sagittarius and a Virgo being friends. All these traits, like people can have these other traits from the other signs. You know what I mean? Gemini's a mixed batch. I would give Gemini C. Like the whole thing about Gemini's is that they're two-faced or there's like two different kinds of personalities. I think Gemini's have it tough because everyone's like, oh, they're so two-faced. There's two parts of them. You don't know what you're getting from them. The people that are like really close to me that are Gemini's are good people, but I get it. I know other people are like friends of friends that are Gemini's that have backstabbed people. I just don't like that. I don't vibe with that. I don't vibe if you hurt my friends. I will give them C for their general persona. My E is literally broken on my keyboard. Just fell off. If anyone like it works for Apple or something and could be like oh I know how you can fix that like please let me know because it is so annoying for water signs I feel like I'm gonna rank those also low they're just like very emotional okay listen I am in touch with my emotions. I feel like they're in touch with them too much. They react so emotionally to things and I feel like sometimes you gotta take a step back, you gotta think about things. Pisces and Cancer, like they kind of are lower too. Like family and friends are Cancer. Know some of my friends are Pisces too. They have a lot going on in them and that's good. It's good to be in touch with your emotions. I'm not saying it's not. I have a very hard time absorbing all of that. <laughs> One of my friends, God bless them, be like, Hey, so I've been thinking about like um, everything that happens in the United States of America today and um, also my life and I've just thought about all the trauma that I've experienced and, and also all the things that have gone on in life in the last 200 years and I really and, and I'm, I'm so emotional and sad and I'm frustrated and confused and angry and I'm like what ha what's happening? What's happening? They're like they didn't have my meal at Chipotle and it's like whoa! Pisces all rank C Cancer all rank D, get lower, D and F. I'm so sorry to these people. Also say that Leo is up there for me, S. Yeah, so I'm gonna rank Leo S and Aries A. Leo S, because very similarly to Virgo, all of my friends that are Leos are great people. I think Capricorn can be a good B. They're very good at knowing what they want and like setting goals and like having things that they want to achieve. They can be very sensitive. They have so many goals and so many things that they want to do. I feel like they overthink and that's a lot. I feel like Aquarius is also emotional. I'm gonna rank Aquarius 
crispy. I feel like they're very fun loving. They're very quirky. Like I feel like they're offbeat and cuckoo, like a little cuckoo. I feel like Aquariuses are good friends. Taurus, at the end of the day, I feel like Tauruses are very stubborn. I'm gonna rank Taurus and C, honestly kind of D. I feel like they're very stubborn and like can be pretty rude. My friend David is a Taurus, he's gonna kill me. I love specific Tauruses though. And Libra, I'm gonna rank C. Wow, this, this worked out so well. Libra gets C because I have a lot of good friends in Libras, but they're so wishy-washy, like back and forth, back and forth. They are so indecisive on things. Libras, great friends, but so indecisive and it drives me mad. I'd call this iconic. I hope this video changed your life. I would rank Sagittarius S, but I simply cannot because that is bias. That was fun. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. As always, like this video if you enjoyed it. Comment down below what other videos you'd like to see me do, what other tier lists you'd like to see me do, and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet because I post a video every single Monday, and on Fridays I post my tier list videos. All my other social media will also be in the description, so you can go and check that out, and I will see you next Monday. Boom, boom, bye!